Alright, so tonight I'm going to show you guys how to rebuild an alternator. This alternator that I have here is off of a Ford vehicle. Uh, I don't know what kind of vehicle, but all I know is it's off of a Ford. And you take a look at the back here. You can see we got some terminals back there. Uh, the black one is your stator. The red is your battery. Orange looks like Yep, that's field, and you got your uh, ground right here. So I'll uh, show you what I usually do when I uh, rebuild one of these, and uh, we'll go ahead and get into it. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take this nut off so you can get the pulley and the fan off. And usually what I do is I use an Allen wrench and a Crescent wrench to do that. I got a rag underneath it just to give it some cushion. So I put the Allen wrench in there just like that. I already loosened this up some prior to the video. Normally, you're going to need an air impact to get these off. Because they're on there pretty tight. We got a little lock washer under there, too. This pulley came off pretty easy. Normally, you'd need a puller to get that off. But looks like there's some oil in there or something, so that slid right off pretty easy. Just go ahead. So we got the fan here. So we'll go ahead and set that off to the side. So you have three bolts. Okay, I just want to make sure you guys can see that. So you got three bolts here. One here, one here, and one here. Little ratchet. So we got these three screws out, set those off to the side. Okay, so it's not going to come apart by pulling on it, so we will have to tap on it. Okay. 
Okay, so we have the inside, we have the brush holder, we have the brushes, we have the uh, stator inside. And then here we have our rotor. Pull this little collar off of there. I should just pull right out. I will have to work on that off camera. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do here now is I'm going to take this brush holder off of here. your one little brush right here okay this goes directly to your ground as you can see the little eyelet on it and this screws into the case grounding out this brush So here's the brush holder. See it's got the two springs in it. And then if you look closely here, okay, you might be able to see a little hole going all the way through. That is so that when you put it back together, you can hold your brushes back. Oops. So you can put your, you can hold your brushes back. You can stick a little something in there to hold your brushes. When I go to put it back together, I'll show you how we, uh, how we do that. So, I don't know if you can see in there. Okay. This right here is our other brush. And it's connected right there. So you turn that around on the back. And that is your field terminal. So we'll go ahead and we'll take that out.
Take your little plastic insulator off. There's our other brush. It's got some kind of, it might be grease or something that got on it. And down inside, you have a little insulator piece. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna put that insulator piece back on where I found it. And we'll uh, put all this back together so we don't lose anything. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is uh, I'm going to take a look. I'm going to take a closer look at these brushes off camera, and then uh, I'll come back, and then uh, we'll go from there.